they know how to get under you and they know they know how to make you question your 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 abilities you know but they yeah. that's that's why it's uh that's why it's rewarding when you pass cuz not everybody could do it Hi Andrew Hey you seen How's it going Great great how are you Good good you're a happy man huh Yeah, pretty happy. I uh finally passed the FE. The first time around I failed with a another course and then um I I came across your co course. We got together, studied for a good 2 months with the um all the books. Yeah. I used the study guide. That's the third uh, edition of the study guide that you use, yeah. Yeah, it was really helpful. Um challenging some problems are challenging but it prepares you for the test right on. uh and then i got these books the practice exams the practice exams i utilize yeah you basically have my full collection <laughs> you have all of my fp books even the first and edition I, of my so yeah this, this is, is the, the pe because right PE. right after i finished the um fe we jumped straight into now i'm planning to do the pe in three to four months and me and right you on. are working on that. Yeah. So yeah, I I failed with another program and I felt that program uh I'm not going to say any names. They didn't prepare me well for each different section of the 17 topics on the exam. They would give you a different teacher and that te those teachers seem to always uh kind of complicate things, not make it clear. And when you have a different teacher for each subject it 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 kind of isn't great it's not, not ideal and then also they they weren't available so i would ask a question i would never get a response and it was just no and it was outdated as well uh cuz now the fe only has um 17 what's seconds. the exactly they used to have 18 with the engineering what, what sciences was it? exactly with the engineering sciences so i prepared as if it was still that so I was yeah. I was behind the eight ball just off that alone. Yeah. So, but having different teachers for different subjects was a norm in college, right? So you take yeah. one course with one guy, another course with another guy, and yeah. if you get stuck with a good teacher for a long term, that's a plus. The reverse side is that if you have a bad teacher who's teaching you everything, I yeah. mean that's bad. Right. Yeah. So, but anyways, I, I saw your progression. You were putting in a lot of time and effort, yeah. right? And it so, was... I, yeah, I, I would say for sure. I got really, really, I was a good student as well. And I only finished school about four and a half years ago at this point. I was a good, solid student, 3.25 GPA. That's pretty good um, for engineering. Yeah. Yeah. I graduated from a, a school here in Florida, F, FAU. Um, yeah. And I, I was solid. I was, I was very good. And, um, it's good because I feel like your course made me even stronger in like really important subjects like circuit analysis and in, uh, in particular. Yeah. A critical subject, circuit analysis and electronics that I was good at, but I became like bulletproof on your course. So that right. that's really what helped. And yeah, then it, thanks. My, my math and, uh, you know, the beginning subjects, math, statistics, ethics, engineering, econ, I was like really strong, you know? Right. Yeah, the big five, as I mentioned in the FE electrical exam preparation, right? Uh, you really got to get them right. A mad circuit, electronics, power, yeah. and digital I systems. I mean, if, if you can't get that right, you're done. You're never going to pass the FE. Exactly. My There's opinion. no chance. No yeah. chance. And and even when you say that you got to, when I say that you got to get them right, doesn't mean that you are hovering around, around the average. Yeah. You got to really, you know, hit it out of the park. Yeah. With at least two or three of those, right? Yeah, and you have we... to be basically borderline bulletproof. You have to feel exactly. super confident on those. Exactly, and especially the three in the middle, uh, circuits, electronics, and power. They're yeah. critical. You've gone through my life training program as well. More, yeah. you know, for some of the classes, others you watch the replay because of the time constraint that you were facing. Mm -hmm. But the three in the middle, your circuits, electronics, and power, they're important because every electrical engineer should have a good grasp of those. Yeah, for sure, for and sure. And they carry over to PE power. You've already started seeing that in PE power, right? Yeah, so I mean, they carry, they carry, 
I, I'm an MEP engineer in real life. I, I work right. in a great firm. I've done a lot of projects, uh, commercial, right. residential. I have a great mentor my, who's actually a family member of my uncle. He's a great right. guy, great engineer. Um, these subjects, if you don't know them, you're going to look like a fool in real life. Like exactly. they're, they're, they're very important in real life. Yeah. So, so I mean, I, it was great. I had a lot of fun with those subjects yeah. um, in the course. And there was a lot of subjects, though, like that no matter what, for certain guys like me, like MEP engineers or, you know, uh, electrical engineer majors, like uh, communications is always hard. you got to do your Linear best. Linear systems, signal yeah. processing, yeah. digital yeah, signal systems. Processing. And then obviously the computer subjects are, are, yeah. are very challenging. But, you, you know, the good thing about your course is I hung in there yeah. on those subjects. I, I, I was good enough so that by the time we take the the ones we were talking about, uh, circuit analysis, math, um, electronics, power systems, I was able yeah. to like crush those really strong. Exactly. And then, and then I got by, you know? Yeah. It's, well, that's the, good. the test is challenging for, for anybody out there that's, that's going in to take that test. You're going to be scared. Like I, I left the test like a little shaken because it's, it's hard. They know how to, they know how to get under you and, and really make, <laughs> they know, they know how to make you question your, your, your abilities, you know, but they, yeah. that's, that's why it's, uh, that's why it's rewarding when you pass. Cause not everybody could do it. You know? Yeah. Don't be complacent, you know? Uh, and as you mentioned, like you, you, you were a pretty decent student yourself, uh, going yeah. to the school, you still have to work hard, right? You yeah, still have to very, put in the time and effort hard. and, yeah. uh, it's, um, but at the end of the day, because not everyone can simply walk into the exam and pass this exam, uh, it filters out those who really don't want it or who Absolutely. have underestimated it. I yep. would say that's probably the right way of putting it. Uh, you yeah. really have to work towards it because yeah. you will never take any exam that will test you on your entire undergraduate engineering. Yeah. And yeah, um, yeah absolutely. Um, like you said, it's, it's not for everybody. And if somebody goes in there thinking, oh, I could just do a bunch of questions, maybe there, there would be a question like this on the exam. It's yeah. not going to happen one time out of it's the hundred. It's so important questions. to understand that. Yeah. yeah. There's some people, some students, and again, there's a caveat, right? So if you're fresh out of school or if you're in your final years, right, you already yeah. have a good grasp of theory. Even if you are not, you know, a star student, the fact that you've gone through a lot of theory recently, maybe all you need is a bunch of practice. OK, and just the framework of, you know, which topics are going to be on the exam based on the specification, go through a few practice from here, from there, and maybe you will click. Right. Yeah. But the percentage of students who are taking it in their final year or fresh out of school is very low, at least in my program. Most yeah, of the guys well. and girls I'm helping are basically your profile, like are even actually more senior, like 10 years out of school, 15 years out of school. Right. So. If you go on Reddit and you see somebody, you know, passing this exam in, in one week, two week, they're yeah. probably not telling you that they're still in school. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, you see, this is the thing. People, you're always going to have a million. If you got a million people, they're going to give you a million answers. There's some guys, the, the minority, even though sometimes we like to look at them and think, oh, my God, maybe they're the majority. They're the small minority. Oh, I studied for like 100 hours and passed. Some guys take this test 10 times and don't pass. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm a, you know, I like to think I'm a smart guy. I had a great uh, career in school and college. Yeah. Uh, I had a great professional career for four years. This test was extremely challenging. I had to put up like about 500 hours and I really, it was 500. That's for the hours. FE exam. For yeah. The FE, for the 500 FE. is a pretty failed. common. I failed once. It's uh, sorry, the other for yeah. the PE, 400 to 500 is, is, is you know, the average. Everybody understands yeah. that. Yeah. For FE, some people think that you can get away with 200 hours. I, I really don't think 200 is the right number. It depends, you know. Like I said, you're going to have different guys. You're going to have some guy that studied for 100 hours, passed first try. You're going to have guys that studied thousands of hours. I've seen on Reddit guys failed 15 times. And I, because oh. after, after uh, with the other course, when I failed, I um I was looking on Reddit and I was like, oh my God, what if I'm gonna be one of those guys that fails ten times, fifteen? So it's like, you you gotta just set up, you know, like the uh, normal distribution curve. Yeah, the Gaussian the, curve. The, 
Yeah, the 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 fifty percentile. Well, that's probably like four hundred yeah. hours. Let's say. Yeah. You know, but you 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 better be ready to work hard to pass. Exactly. You know? I I think that's a that's the bottom line. You better be ready to work hard. If it doesn't happen in the first attempt and you give in the uh, uh, throw in the towel, maybe yeah. your reason was not strong enough. Maybe you were not doing it for the right reasons because. Now, you know that, you know, you were telling that you have family members who are in the MEP business themselves and you understand the value of the PE license, right? Yeah, how, for how, sure. What type of recognition Wonderful. gives you in the industry? Yeah. What type of privileges it gives you? And the responsibility, obviously, right? Yeah. But if you're just doing it as a graduating requirement, there's some schools, apparently some of my students tell me, I don't remember the name of the schools, but they require you to just take the exam just take the fe exam pass fail doesn't matter just take the fe exam and you check a box and it's part of your graduating requirements so what do you think is going to be the motivation level or the level of intensity that they're bringing to the game right in yeah, terms of preparation very well very you show well. up to the exam fail who cares right yeah exactly exactly or, or if you're doing it just because your boss is continuously nagging you that you know you gotta yeah. Uh, work on your P license and internally you are making decent money and you really don't see the whole fuss around putting yeah. extra time and you're, so you're not really you know even if you fail you're, you're probably going to be like whatever I don't care right yeah. but if you have a strong why there's actually a book it's it's a I have it in the back and uh, it's 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 called what is your why by Simon Sinek I think that's the name of the author but if if you don't have that strong reason as to why you want to get this done, yeah, but for sure you absolutely do need a really strong why. Because yeah. if you don't, you're not going to be able to put in the the work to to pass this thing, right? You know, and and I would say this to anybody watching, don't don't let the people fool you that say, oh, I studied two weeks and passed. Don't, because I know I I was thinking, what's wrong with me, man? Like I like I said with the other course, my fellow, my what. Why? Like, what's wrong? How how did I not pass? This guy claims he studied two weeks. Don't be tricked by by that outlier, because yeah. most people are like me. Uh, they're gonna have to put in a lot of work, and you know. Yeah, I studied. I studied for about four or five months on my own, right? Yeah. I I didn't use any program. I I went back to my textbooks, college textbooks, and learn and relearn. But granted, in my case, because I was still in touch with academics, I had recently completed my graduate studies. So for me, there was never really a big break in my studies, right? Unlike most of the students, you were, you've were you been out of school for like four and a half years, right? Most of the students yeah. in my program are in the same profile. So how excited are you about your um, P Power exam preparation, Andrew? Really you enrolled excited. in my program right away? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I will say this to everybody, uh, the... The live training program is good to get, like, because Wasim has three things. He has an on-demand course, which is critical. The study guide, this, this is amazing study guide. Every, I recommend everybody go through the problems and understand it. Um, hold on one second, Wasim, sorry. Yeah, no problem. All right, so, yeah, that study guide is great. Um, the on-demand course is great, but also the live training, it's worth to, to use that because – it's it's fun and it, it uh it's good to be in a classroom kind of environment learning these things. So I, I recommend all those. And personally for myself, I I invested in all three. The the book, the on demand, and the live training. Cause yeah. I knew yeah. I know it worked for the for the my FE exam. So I'm gonna do this the same thing for the PE. And I'm the type of guy that I need, uh, well, I don't need, but it really helps me to have somebody like a coach, like Wasim to, I could, I could talk to him. He's available. You know, the other program I would reach out to them, nothing. Wasim, after my exam, the FE exam, I, I spoke to him. Uh, um, after the exam, I, I was like, wow, Wasim, that was a very hard exam. Like it was tough, but, but we got, we got through it. So yeah, for everybody, I recommend those those three courses for the the three resources I I said, and you'll enjoy it. Like it's not, I'm a guy that I'm not a big reader. You know, um, I'm I don't enjoy these kind of things. Sometimes like the work school, I didn't really like enjoy school that much. So for me to say like it's enjoyable, it I, I think you should take that to the bank. Um, because it is quite fun. 
Sounds good. Thanks a lot for that feedback, Andrew. And I look forward to helping you with your P-Power exam. This one, we're going to get it done in the first attempt. I'm yeah. confident. And uh, you're not time constrained. You are enjoying the journey as well. And one of the comments I made after you passed the exam, you were like, Wasim, I want to get this done in, what, two, three months? I, I said told two you, months, yeah. Yeah. I told you that this is your really last chance before you get your PE license to really dive into the content, dig into the details and brush up on the fundamentals. So, I mean, when you feel ready within, if it's in two months, by all means, take the exam in yeah. two months. Otherwise, yeah. you know, enjoy the ride and then we'll get this done. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And um, for everybody out there, I really recommend Wasim that it, he, he's he's one of a kind in this game and he's always available humble always available and i you know my family and i don't we can't say enough great things i have cousins i have a a, a few cousins three or four cousins who are gonna uh follow me and take with seems course when when they cross that bridge after they put up their four years uh requirement in the workplace awesome sounds good thanks a lot andrew really appreciate yeah, absolutely. it